Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And before we start this video, I'd just like to say the background gameplay is my brand new map, Toy War, which has just been completed just before the release of Season 3. So if you guys get a moment or two and you can help support me, it would really mean the world to me if you could play this map, help the XP get calibrated on the map over the next two days. And then obviously we can use this map to help us farm XP throughout Season 3. We'll talk more about that once it gets calibrated. So just give me a hand, play the map, help it get calibrated, and let's hope it can get calibrated in the next, I guess, 20 hours or so. I'm sure it will. Anyway, talking on the event topics, that's what we're mainly going to be focusing here. And Fortnite just released the trailer for the up and coming collision event. Check this out. So it's quite clear that the brand new four skins which you could see in that will be in the item shop tonight and we don't 100% know if we will be playing as these during the up and coming live event but we assume that possibly we could end up in these suits. Now one thing that I've been wondering about the live event which is kind of a little side topic but I thought I'd mention it because it's kind of an interesting one to mention is will the event have a different kind of field of view slash point of view or gameplay for each player in your squad. The, the event itself is going to be four player only which makes me think that possibly each player could have like a different task during the event which could affect the not outcome but what each player experiences depending on what task you get. I have a strange feeling that that might be the case but I don't 100% know. Now it's clear that we will be using the mech and the mech will be used throughout the event to do stuff and explore the map and whatever it does during the event. Fail, succeed, I don't 100% know. It makes sense for us to fail during the event because or something to go wrong because that would tie nicely into another season. If the event is successful and we do defeat IO, what would season three actually be? That's a good question. So we'll have to wait and see. I generally don't think that we will defeat IO in this event. It will go wrong and the war will continue throughout season three or some other alien species will arrive on the planet. Maybe not the last reality, but a new species which we've not seen in the Fortnite lore, which makes an appearance, which would be quite neat. I don't know if that would be this season or in the future, but I have a feeling something like that could happen. Now, on the topic of the live event and stuff, I wanted to mention this here is the up and coming teasers. So, this also gives us a little insight to what we can expect during the event. Now, the full teaser hasn't been fully revealed yet, but near enough all of it has been revealed, and it looks like it's just giving us an overview of the different weapons the mech has, showing us that the mech possibly has like a minigun installed, a drill installed in its arm, obviously the rockets which it has in in its knees and different sections like the original map and probably we're going to see maybe a new kind of weapon towards its head maybe some sort of laser eyes or something crazy like that we can also see from the picture it shows us that the mech is going to drive from the moon to the current island obviously inside of the zero point kind of orb in the sky it's going to land on the top side to so the flip side the original side i guess that we originally started on chapter one and it's going to arrive on there which is the current side run now chapter three and it's going to do whatever it has to do against io now the zero point is in the set you can see there's a little red mark around it and this is probably going to help us fight against possibly the collider whatever the collider does now the collider itself we don't really know what io is focused is with this device we look at it and i look at it and think this device definitely has huge potential but it doesn't exactly have a direct meaning to what it actually is doing. It gives me vibes of the Cube Queen and stuff like that, but it doesn't exactly kind of say that it is going to be what the Cube Queen does. I don't feel like it would be because IO are a different faction to the last reality. So I'm not 100% sure what they're trying to do with the Doomsday device as we do know it is that from the Jones's uh, backlogs, which we heard throughout the season. Jones was mentioned that IO do love doing the Doomsday device or using the Doomsday device. There's also a simulation which you can experience during one of the challenges as well, which shows what would happen if io do win and it would be us trapped in the loop so we are technically still trapped in the loop and we probably still will be forever because that is what fortnite is battle royale i don't think they'd ever take us out of the loop they may switch a few things up but not 100 percent. so it's going to be interesting to see the outcome of this event technically every event has had a negative side to it which has led to or the word negative is probably the wrong word to use because it's a great event and all the events have been great but they've always had a like 
a bad outcome, if you know what I mean, that leads to the next season. Almost every event has that. We had, like, the water. We had, like, the rocket. Um, just a crack in the sky. Water being left, you know. Just all sorts of little things. That's just two of the ones that I'm coming up with. A volcano erupting on different POIs and creating the next season. It always has a transition, basically. A negative or something like that. I don't know what the word is to use for it, but a very clever transition which is put into the event to tie us into the next season. So, it's usually something that's never really a positive outcome. It's always something that's gone wrong during the event, which is cool. I like that. I do like to do that, but what is it going to be this season? I don't know. Maybe the mech will get destroyed and we'll have like a POI with the mech on the ground. Something like that would be cool. Who knows exactly what would happen. But that's where we are at with the live event stuff. Also, on the topic of Columbo, this has been something which has been going around. Columbo's challenge is obviously in the game now and there's a lot of these different kind of landmarks of Columbo where he's hibernating. I assume he will have something to do either with the release of the season trailer and stuff. Or it'll have something to do with during the event. I assume it'll probably be the next season. They'll bring him in at some point. And I think he'll have more, more kind of complex AI to him. Maybe more use. He was definitely overrated. You can't, like, I've we talked about this in the past. Some people disagree. But I generally think that Clumbo was super overrated. He was really cute, really awesome to walk by. And it gives definitely gave a life like a real life experience in the game like raptors did and wolves did but it didn't really have much utility other than a launch pad basically other than that it didn't do much at all in reality you got to think about it so i was never a huge fan of columbo's mechanics the idea of him being on the island was amazing i loved columbo himself but the actual usage of it was kind of pointless so i'm hoping a revamp to it does give it a more life and a more utility on the island. Maybe something that you can like tame. Maybe you can defeat it for some weapons. Maybe you can do something with it. Maybe go inside of its mouth and ride it or something like that, which would be cool. Just something unique for Columbo that gives him the ability. Just imagine Columbo having the ability just to imagine taming him and directing him at a team. That would be super fun. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows exactly what they'll do with him. But I just want to mention that because Columbo is probably going to make a return at some point in the next few days or so. Other than that, we do have a little teaser here for the up and coming, obviously, season. This is apparently what it's going to look like when you're loading into Fortnite on different consoles when you're looking at the picture. It's a little badge. To be honest, it's just clouds, so I can't really say much about this. They usually just change the colors every single season, so that's going to be the colors most likely that we suspect for the upcoming season three. Other than that, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget, guys, if you get a free moment, please go and try out the brand new Toy War map code is on screen it would mean the world to me if we could get this calibrated so i can include it in my video on how to level up fast inside the season three for you guys because the xp once it just gets calibrated it's always higher than it if it's been calibrated for a long period of time so we can get it going get the map calibrated pop into it guys the code is at the top left i'll see you guys inside of toy box war i love it and i hope you guys enjoy it just as much as i do